G'day guys, Ryan here from Southern Cross Caravans. Start of our adventure today, we're up in Woburn. We're just gonna go across the road just over there to get some fuel. We just thought we'd stop into this little playground here. A nice little playground in Woburn. And then you've got the visitor center which is closed at the moment. A few old tractors that the kids have been sitting on and playing around. The kids love all this old sort of stuff. Even though, even I wasn't around when this old cool stuff was around. Kids probably love it and love seeing the kids play around on it as well. So, where are we off to? We're going up to Yagu. Gonna stop into Joker's Tunnel and then our trip is gonna take us up to Walga Rock and then we're gonna go into Q, gonna hang around Q, see what's, see what's going on around there, go out to Big Bell and yeah, take some nice dirt tracks. So follow us along and yeah, we'll have a pretty fun adventure together. Got the Southern Cross 13 foot double bunk straight, time behind a Colorado, time really well, really happy with how it's going. Got the new nitrous shocks on there from Bionic RV. So we're gonna give them a good test run. Later on today, you're gonna to see a video of the GoPro under the under the caravan whilst we're driving along so you can see how everything's working. Anyway, stay tuned. Let's have a fun adventure. We just filled up at Weaven. Feels a bit pricey, that's not too bad because we're out in the bush, good to get out of the city. We're about a hundred kilometers from our next destination. We're going up the Yalgo Ningham Road. So it's, what's the time now? It's uh, nearly four o'clock. So we're gonna see how we go for time. Um, might pull up on the side of the Yalgo Ningham Road somewhere. Hoping to stay at a lake tonight, but we're just gonna see how we go. Um, anyway, let's keep driving and we'll have a look and see what's around. <laughs> made it to camp didn't get as far as we wanted to but hey thanks to Ben for letting me knock off early you're a legend um, we are camped just before the lake you'll see in the drone a few pictures of the lake we've just found out as we got onto the Yalgo Ningham Road that it was all bitumen what the f I probably shouldn't swear should I have to beat that out it was all bitumen we come up here for some red dirt to get some sick shots and advertise how cool the caravan was to be out in the bush but we're going to travel up a bit further hopefully up at Yalgu it starts to get a bit redder up there a bit more dust but hey we're out here probably get a fire cranking when the kids go to bed and we got some more awesome footage of where we're at anyway have a good night Let's go team. We are at Joker's Tunnel. So it's about 10 minutes out of Yagu. We quickly shot up to Yagu. We fueled up and we've come back just so we could give the kids a bit of a nap. So we found a nice shady tree and we set them up in the caravan, which was really nice. I'm gonna go for a walk. It's really dark in there. So I don't know how much the GoPro will pick up, but we'll see. Let's go. It's crazy to think that this was all done by hand. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. The no machines at all. I don't know if they would have had explosives back then. I think so. Doesn't really look like it. Hey, no. no. That little dot down there is the end of the tunnel. How are you two going? Carry on. <laughs> I feel the same way, kid. There's a dark hole. Go on. Yeah, I'm getting there. Where are you going? Are you jumping? 
These two aren't even phased. Here I am shaking. Yeah. I think the bats are asleep. Cool. Shut the up. And two times. Come <laughs> on. Here a bat. Batties. Oh, I saw one. Did you fall over? Up, up. Up, you hop. Come on. Up, you hop. Yeah, so they must like be picking it, putting their picks in. Yeah. Because that's all just like powder. How cool. Oh, well, it's like really soft. Our kids aren't even faced. Good. Look, they touched me. <laughs> Look at that. GoPro should pick that up. That's impressive. Oh, there's your hands. <laughs> that is like hard compared to the where we just were. Yeah. yeah. They're jumping. Look <laughs> at the bat. Is that, oh. is that are they bats? They scratched. They were picking it. So they only got three kilos of gold out of here. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? There's a lot of effort. You're an explorer, dude. <laughs> explorer, dude. <laughs> we made it just. Oh, it's warm out here now. Oh. Oh. That looks like a... That looks a bit rough to get up there, but it looks like something up there. A mine of some sort. Mm. Got a lot of editing to do apparently. No, we don't. You gotta leave that in. <laughs> survived? Oh, we survived. A bat nearly hit me in the head. Oh, we made it. Here you go. You right? How are you going, types? Look at this kid, she's orange. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta keep moving, otherwise, we're gonna end up yeah. behind the times. Yeah. Now we made it back alive! We've done it! Toby went in there, clean as days. Look at him. Look at this one, this one's orange. She, um, have you looked at him? <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. Good fun. Bats are really active as you'll see. That was a lot of fun. Come on, Sam. Hey guys, Ryan here from Southern Cross. I don't need to introduce myself anymore. Just cut that bit. Righto. We got to Nullan Station. We've had a few technical difficulties running out of space on the GoPro trying to figure out how to use it and how to store the videos. I realized that we need a few more SD cards, but that's alright. The kids are asleep right now and we've got the air cord cranking. And we're off grid, thanks to the 300 amp of lithium and 450 watts of solar. All the new models and the 15 footers especially have got 600 watts. So they're going to have plenty of power. Um, yeah, got a beautiful grass spot all to ourselves. It's really nice, the kids are loving it. Ah, it's good. We're going to go there and see some sheep and see 
a donkey later about four o'clock which will be nice let's just go for a quick site tour before we go see some cows got the van all set up nice grass area really nice and shaded now I've been here since about 10 o'clock and there's only $37 for the two adults and the kids are free that's a banging deal always after a good cheap deal anyway let's go see some cows yeah. Hold dad's hand Yeah. Say yes, please. Good job. Your turn. Yeah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> bit bit bigger. Oh, <laughs> How about you help too? You hold Toby's hand. There you go. Now we can say we both fed them at the same time. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Too confident. Watch that finger. There you go. Good job. Oh God. Oh God. <coughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, most of you. Yeah. Exactly. Is that just for the employees here, you guys? All right. Okay. Well, of what we eat good. And not that we're always barbecue, cold and roast. Point it around. So. From Emily's point of view. Yeah. yeah. And Dave's terrific. Is that the holy guy in his little shirt? Yeah. 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 Hey, Hello, so we've fed some animals, fed some pigs, fed some sheep and a donkey. Now it's our turn for dinner. We got chicken wraps with avocado and some onion. It's gonna be really nice. Just can't get over this site. Let's come back here a bit further and swing his around. And also got some drone shots of the side as well and it looks bloody nice. Beautiful morning out here in Nallan Station. Hey look, Easter egg bunny's been out. Laying a few eggs. Kids are gonna love this. Hey guys, happy Easter. I'm gonna do a little Easter egg hunt for our kids, the first one, since now they're both walking, so how exciting. 
So this morning we woke up early, had a bit of an Easter egg hunt with the kids, but now we're at the Nallan breakaways in the caves. So you need permission to come out here, so you need to camp out uh, at the Nallan station itself, and then register your vehicle and then come out here just so that if you go missing, they can come out and find you. But how impressive is this? Animals will come up here and dig the caves out just so they can get into some shade there. And this summer has been one of the worst summers. Temperatures hitting about 57 degrees. So animals must be coming in here just to be able to get some relief from that from that horrible sun. This is awesome. Oh yeah, it'd be nice to set up a swag in here. Even birds have been coming in here to get some relief from that horrible sun. This is amazing. This looks like where a cat, a uh, um, kangaroo lives up in here. Well, this one's huge. Mum, you're gonna have to come up for a walk when I. I'll come back down, and look after the kids, and you come up for a walk up here. Goes all the way through. This is epic. Hi, Mum. We're waving to Mum. Baby. Where's Mum? Baby. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, let's shoot the drone up and show you what it looks like. Right, so we just stopped in queue, just um, getting a ham and cheese toasty from the servo, just for a spot of easy breakfast. Kids had cocoa pops this morning and then we quickly shot out to see the breakaways, which I'm sure you would have seen by now. One thing that's really surprised me out here is the trucks. I know that sounds such like such a city person kind of thing to say, but man, these trucks are huge. Some of these trucks, especially out in Yaogu, they were sort of like 60 meters long and 210 ton. That is massive. Yeah, it's bloody awesome. We'll keep trucking along. Anyway, see you around. All right, here's something funny for you. Yeah, wrong way. Oh. Need to go that way. <laughs> so we've just paid for a powered campsite, 35 bucks in Dalwalny, which is really, really good. But for me, being the clown that I am, 
we um, left our power cord at home so we've got no power but luckily we can still run the aircon so we're sweet we just have to pay a five dollars extra but well, should be right